Hey Prep, good to see you again. What I'd like you to do to start this lesson is watch the video that's going to play. Now this video is a read aloud of one of my favorite books. Once you've finished, I'm going to tell you what I'd like you to do today. The Dot. By Peter H. Reynolds. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good, strong jab. There! Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, Now sign it. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week, when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot, all framed in swirly gold. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never-before-used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashti painted and painted. A red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the yellow. She discovered that she could make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting. Lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots, too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on a bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots were quite a splash. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle, and then she said, Sign it. The End Hey Preps, I hope that you enjoyed watching the video. It's one of my favourite books and it's a really important story, especially in the art room and the message behind it is really important. What I would like you to do now is that you are going to find your bit of paper um, that I've made for you that came in your prep pack that you've picked up from school and you can see that I've made a frame for you. Now, you are going to be decorating the frame but only using dots, exactly as they did in the book. Now, I don't want you to use straight lines, wiggly lines, zigzag lines. You are only using dots and you can use anything that you can find. So you might use paint, you might use textures, you might use pencils, crayons, ink, whatever you like. They can be small dots or they can be really big dots. It's up to you. Once you are done, you can cut around the edge really carefully and don't forget to display your artwork when you're done. See you next week. Bye.